Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can take static data with your S321 Plus through Field Genius. So to begin here, I'm going to open up Field Genius and head to the bottom left corner where the plumb bob icon is. And when this opens, I'm going to choose Connect there from the resulting menu, and in the Instrument Selection screen, I'm going to make sure under Instrument Type, I have GNSS Rover selected, and then Instrument Profile, I'm going to have my S321 profile selected. If I do not already have a profile here, we have a video on the channel on how to set it up. It's very simple, very quick. And when I have my correct profile set up here, I'm going to hit Connect and begin the Bluetooth connection. Once connected, I'm going to get this Link Configure screen. Um, for the point of setting up static, you can just hit connect. Uh, there's no point in really changing any of your communication settings. So now that I'm back at the map screen here, I'm going to head over to where the antenna... So if I click on that, I'm going to get where I can put in my HI here. So under model there, I have S321. And then my measured height, there are two options here. So as you can see in this picture here, I can take it to the bottom of the antenna mount or the top of the orange band. So based on what point you choose to take your height from, you're going to have to change the measure point option there. So in this case, I've taken um, my point to be the bottom of the antenna mount and my measured height to be two meters. So once I have that filled in, I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to head to the wrench, screwdriver, and three switches at the top right corner. And then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of instrument settings there and select raw data logging. And I'm going to get the GNSS raw data logging screen here. So first off, in this GNSS raw data logging screen here, I'm going to select a rate. We recommend using one second. That's an industry standard. It gives you good data. Um, going any slower, you could run into some issues. So once I have one second selected from that drop down there, I'm going to name my file. For the S321 Plus, it's important to name each file uniquely. So in this case, I'm just going to name it 1234. Uh, it's simple to remember, um, and I know there's not a file with the same name. And once I have that named, I'm going to hit Start Logging. And that's going to begin to take measurements every second and save them to the receiver. So I've let this run for five minutes here, and now I'm going to hit stop logging. And then I can just hit close to be bring myself back to the map screen there. So there are multiple ways you can get this data off your receiver. So the first of is the data should be saved to a internal SD card. So that SD card, if you open up your battery port, it's a little SD card you can observe there um, above the battery. The other option you have is you can use the web UI to download the file directly to your device. So we have a video on the channel, I'll just link it up above, and it's quite simple on how to set it up. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video, or any questions about any of the equipment you've seen in today's video, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca. 